A few months ago, we created a mess dubbed the Steez Cannon. It was our first wood feature ever, and as much fun as it was, the thing was sketchy. The planks were only one foot wide, getting speed was a real struggle, the entire structure wobbled like crazy, and you could feel all of these things when riding up to it. Today, we'll set out to rebuild this feature into something more fun and a little less difficult for the mind. Let's start off by grabbing some wood from Home Depot. The 70% off lumber pile was filled to the top, so I was able to spend some time picking wood that was good enough for our project. It's a feature for us to ride mountain bikes on outside, so it doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, some boards with knots or imperfections can actually be better. Now for a quick materials overview, and then we have to get all of this down to the trail. So for today, we're going to be doing a rebuild of the log on the step up trail, and we have plenty of wood for it. A bunch of this is all extra, but we have 11 of these 2x4s, most of them are 8 feet long, 4 of the 2x6s right here, and then 2 2 by 8 So this is definitely enough wood for what we're going to be doing. And then we also have a little bit more screws and then some extra offcuts for bracing. We're going to slide these boards down the grass hill again, and it worked very well last time. These boards are too thick to snap on any impact here, so it'll work perfectly. Now for the really fun part, we get to destroy the old feature. We get to destroy it! Yay! So guys, all that's left to do now is to go find trees and build this thing up because we already destroyed it. There's nothing here where the old one was except for the landing. So let's get to rebuilding it. We ended up finding the best possible fallen tree that has been laying here since day one of the trail. The wood is in perfect diameter and the entire tree is straight too. After you cut your post to size, you have to mess with your log a little bit. Part of that includes stripping some of the bark off and cutting all the branches. For stripping bark, I think I've uncovered the best way to do this, so let me share it. By ripping a shallow line down one side of your log, bark can come off in huge chunks so you don't have to bother picking off smaller sections and killing your thumbs. This saved us a lot of time here. Now before we start digging our post holes, I got a little sidetracked and wanted to work on a different project for now. Most of this involves fixing the whale tail. The first of three things that I want to do is chop off the top and remove one plank from the lip. We were going a little bit too high and this should solve it. I also want to add a heavy duty lag bolt into the side to make it a lot more stable than it was previously. For the lag bolt, we'll start by pre-drilling a nice big hole for it, and then we'll just secure it in place. Now for the final thing, which is making a lumber storage area under our whale tail. 
Right now, we just hacked a few 1x6s into place, and they're not strong enough at all. We want this to be permanent, so we're going to be using 2 by stuff. The structure just simply spans two beams across on the bottom of the whale tail, and we'll be able to store any lumber longer than 8 feet here. So we just finished our lumber storage, and it looks really nice under here. We'll tweak it eventually and make sure it works, but it's pretty stable and looks like a great place if we ever need more wood or screws or stuff, we can just come right under here and grab it. All right, now back to the new Steez Cannon. We can now start digging our holes. You all know the drill. We've done this many times before. Since this is a smaller feature though, we'll only need two posts. This saves me some work and prevents blowing out my back too, but since there isn't much support, these holes need to be very deep. So right now we've dug one of our post holes, not even close to deep enough, but one of the problems is when you start getting kind of far down, it gets, gets pretty hard to dig. And that's why you get one of these things. This is a post hole digger and you can use it to get a nice deep hole without having to go through some of the pain of shoveling. And it's been really useful for us on the whale tail and Looks like it's going to help us today too, so let's keep going. Eh, close enough. And this way looks almost dead center, so we're perfect. Digging the supports in didn't take long at all, and we can now cut the post to size using a level. Now we can finally start building up our frame. The new Steez Cannon will hold a simple structure made from three 8-foot 2x6s and a small support on the end. We'll then deck it out with some extra planks left over from the whale tail. These are stakes. By smacking them in, we can prevent the lower section of the boards from moving side to side, and it's the only way to secure it from the bottom. Without stakes, the feature would wobble a lot more. And now we can finish up the rest of the frame, along with bracing it. On the whale tail, our planks were 5 feet wide. By using some extra boards and cutting them in half, I figured a 2.5 foot wide steez cannon would be awesome. That's way better than it being 1 foot wide before. So let's throw our planks on. So we were stoked that our new and improved Steez Cannon was finally done, and it probably looks the best of any wooden feature we have.
think I could have done it that time? Or should I go faster? That felt really slow. Yeah, it's probably a little faster. Yeah, I did that. Our new and improved Steez Cannon felt amazing. The bracing and deep holds greatly reduced the sketch factor and made it feel a whole lot more chill. The angle we reduced it to also made us feel weightless when hitting it and carried a real floaty feeling, just how it should be. We've been doing a lot more digging than riding lately, so let's just have a cool little riding session. After riding this some more and getting comfortable with it, I'm glad to say it fixed everything wrong with the old feature and made the whole line feel mint. Oh. Well thank you all so much for watching to the end. It's because of you guys that I can keep putting out cool videos for everyone. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week.